Okay, hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here, and I know I'm not too consistent with these Apex uh, videos. It's not just gameplay or stream highlights, but I wanted to be going over my profile. Uh, I'm getting apparently a party invitation from this guy. I think I played with him once online. I'm not actually playing the game right now. Um, start over. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here, and I know I'm not very consistent when it comes to the Apex content that's not stream highlights and whatever have you, but we're going to be going over my Apex profile before Season 14 launches. Today is um, the 8th, so tomorrow uh, is the new season, and I just wanted to go over everything, so we're going to start off real quick with my time played in Apex. Uh, always start off with that. That's always nice and fun. Just shy, not just shy, but 20 hours shy of 75 days. So that's something. That's quite a bit. I'm not doing any math. So right now I've actually been playing a lot more Wraith, just, you know, being feeling nimble or whatever have you. I've um, been playing a lot of PC lobbies with my brother, so I've been, like, ha having to climb that skill gap a little bit. So I've been playing Wraith just because I feel faster. And, it, you know, just you, you, you play with the state. Your mental state kind of aligns with the character you're playing and not like I'm playing like a douchebag. I just play faster. I seem to do better with my aim with Wraith in close quarters combat when I play as her. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and start off with skins. So right now we're just going to cycle through who what my default skins are. I think they are cycling. All right, no. <clears throat> so let's start off with character skins. So we have Bloodhound. Right now I'm running Lifeblood because I just... It was from the anime collection event. I just like the solid black. But otherwise, we got the Intimidator, uh, Feral's Future, kind of kind of man. I don't like how the legs look. Everything else is cool, but he just is... Uh, Bloodhound's legs are just too chonky. Uh, Hunter's Moon and Road Warrior. Then we go down here. We got the Rune Keeper, Master of the Hunt. We got a couple of these other like event ones right here. Nothing too crazy. Anything that has a symbol on it, basically. Uh, this is my banner currently for Bloodhound. Just so you can see my kills, wins, damage, and those badges. Uh, I'm not going to care much about the emote wheels or anything. Uh, then we have Gibraltar. So right now I have it running off of random. I have Chrome Dome, Toxic Touch. I like that one a lot for some reason. Uh, Redwood Raider, Shell Shocked, Soft Power, Glorious Combatant, Golden God. Then we have Dark Side, Millennium Tusk, Ride or Die. And then a couple of these other ones. Um, yeah, nothing crazy there. This is my Gibraltar banner, 677 kills. I gotta get to my 1,000. I do have my 4K badge with Gibby because uh, one game I got 4,044 damage and I think 4 kills or something like that. There was a lot of 4s in that game. We got Lifeline here, uh, Alabaster Titan, Bad to the Bone, Hellraiser, London Calling. I do like to pick up the alternative um, skin colors whenever they come in the shop. I don't know, just... Because you don't usually, you don't see them that often. So I do like when they cycle through just to grab them. This is my lifeline banner right now. It's like that blue and purple aesthetic. We got 1,300 kills, 70 wins, and just shy of uh, 500,000 damage. Pathfinder. I like this skin right now. It's nice and nice and smooth, clean. It's Path of Glory. We have Full Metal Robot, Bot of Gold, uh, Friendly Fire. I don't, the thing about Pathfinder, he has a lot of cool skins, but like... Most of them just really look the same and either silver or gold. You know, they're, there's nothing too crazy unique with a lot of Pathfinder skins. Some of them do stand out. You know, the color schemes are really nice. But when it comes, I like that one. Why am I not wearing that one? It's like wood. That's cool. I'm going to add that one to my favorite. Uh, Banner, this is uh, 1,500 kills, 88 wins, and just shy of 500,000 damage. I played Pathfinder from the beginning, so I did get most of my wins and kills with Path in in like the early early seasons like i said going in here to wraith now wraith i have a shitload of skins we have uh depths of the void final sunset i've i've got so many wraith skins wraith does have some of the coolest skins in the game for sure night terror that's easily my favorite skin probably in the entire game uh demon within i picked that one up i usually don't buy skins right out um for you know the 18 dollar price tag or whatever but i did snag the demon within one just kind of like that that uh Yuri Mask or whatever. Um, that's an Oni Mask? I don't remember. Liberator, Vengeance Seeker, uh, a lot of these purple tier ones, Sun Bleached, uh, Wraith's Wrath, and then with some of the blue tier ones, which are still really cool. That white and gold is really nice. Going to the banner, 530 kills, 200,000 damage. I'm not a high damage player. I get a lot of assists. I do a lot of like the uh, initial damage, damage multiple people, get knocked, and my teammates come in and finish them. I'm usually the first one in the fight, not by any choice of my own. I end up getting 
um, kind of picked out early on in the beginning. Like, we'll just be walking around, then all of a sudden, like, I'm in a fight. It's like, help! And I just have to, like, fight off two or three people, do a bunch of damage, get knocked, and I get the assist. So, a lot of the times, I'm not getting the kills, but I'm still carrying my weight. Uh, it's my frame, 800 kills with Bangalore, 30 wins. Not that many wins with Bangalore for how many kills I have. It's kind of weird. I play Bangalore a lot. I play her a lot in Kings Canyon. Caustic, my man. Uh, Caustic is one of my mains for sure, uh, which is just funny because, you know, people get so fucking mad at Caustic. And you know what? Good. Good. Anything to slow you down. Anything to slow down the people who are fucking, you know, wall bouncing and doing movement tech that I can't really easily do. I love this skin, but it stands out so much. You just glow on the map. It's ridiculous. My banner, uh, 1,600 kills. Trying to, I was trying to get to a million damage with Kha'Zix. I still am, but that's not my priority. Uh, who's next? Mirage. I, don't, I haven't played much Mirage lately, but I do have a fair amount of skins for him. I, I, like, I like the Dark Hours. It's black and orange. It's clean and sleek. It's nice. Pit Crew, Seafoam Swindler. That one's nice. I like that one. Um... Desert Mirage, Litwit, that one's cool. Red Carpet, eh, not a fan of that red and gold. I like red and gold, but didn't like that one that much. Uh, Data Leak, oh, that, that's cool. I haven't really looked at most of these skins. I'll unlock them, and if I don't wear it, I often don't see it for a long time. I do. I am trying to get better at like cycling out my skins by setting favorites and letting them rotate, because for the longest time, I just played with one skin on a character Uh just shy of 400 kills, 130,000 damage. Another character who I did start playing a lot more uh, was actually Octane. I really get sick and tired of playing against Octanes because it's just the movement buff drives me nuts. I did get the One Piece skin from a from the actual blue pack that you get in the um, in the little event challenge one right over there. I got that in there. It was it was perfect. I'm like hell yeah, it's like the one of the only skins I wanted besides the flatline skin. I do have a lot of Octane ones. Octane has a lot of good skins. And honestly, I do enjoy playing Octane, just being able to move fast, feeling so nimble, giving my team the movement. Because when I play Apex, I'm not the Slayer in Apex as much as I try. The skin sucks so hard. As much as I try to be a Slayer in Apex, uh, I, I know I'm more of a support role. So that's why I have so much with uh, Lifeline. That's why I have so much on Caustic, you know, being defensive, supporting my team, and whatever have you. You know, that's... That's really where I shine in Apex and just being able to help. That's why I'm really looking forward to playing uh, the new character with the sniper, just being able to provide info for my team, something I cherish a lot. Uh, 360 kills, 120,000 damage. Not so much, but uh, yeah. I, again, at the beginning, I pretty much only played Pathfinder, Gibby, Bloodhound, and Caustic. That's like all I played when the game launched because my brother played Wraith the entire time, so I never got to jump on board uh watson this is easily my second favorite if not favorite skin in the game it's just so clean it's so smooth i, I love it dude we we weebs out here and i'm not a wee but like we like body suits you guys know what it's about uh ruby jewels that was one of my first skins um or rather the base one was one of my first skins for watson which came out the cyber security i think no i got this one i got strange attractor at the beginning which is really cool i just don't like the head i just don't like the, the bald, no-hair-looking thing. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, well, that's cool. I haven't looked at that one, really. And I would wear these skins more if the outfit itself was a little different. If, like, she didn't have the jacket on or something like that. And it had a cooler color scheme, you know. If it was just a little bit more unique besides just the colors and the pattern. I did play some more Watson a few seasons ago. About 500 kills. Um, she's telling me to be quiet, apparently. Um... But since I've been playing with my brother, Jake, he's been playing. He went from, like, 100 kills with Watson to, like, 1,600 or something like that. Crypto, uh, definitely fucking, I do love playing Crypto. It just sucks to feel so kind of powerless at times when your abilities don't work out. I got the Goku skin. This is so sick. I love this skin so much. Uh, but I do have a lot of really cool skins for Crypto. Um, a lot of recolors, again, because... For a character that people don't play, I hate this skin so much. It looks cool, but it's, he just does not look right without the uh, without the chin thing. Um, so many people that, you know, when people don't play Crypto, and then you get, you, so they don't get the skins, and then they don't get the skin recolors, it makes those recolors incredibly rare. Um, which now, oh, this is a cool skin. Where did this one come from? I favorited it? When? This is sick. Silver pants, dude. Um, oh, this is cool, too. God, crypto is the. Mo I want to be crypto. I want that jacket. I want to look good in big jackets. I'm just too skinny to make uh, puffier clothes look cool. That's really, that's interesting. I like that. 
Again, I'm seeing a lot of these for the first time, like, in a while. Crypto stats, 245 kills, not that many. But uh, I do feel useful when I actually play crypto, right, you know? We're just going to go down to Fuse since we're right here. I play a lot of Fuse. Um, just I like to disrupt and annoy people with his uh, cluster. <clears throat> with his clusters. I don't have a lot of skins for Fuse. I don't like most of them. Man of War and Sir Fitzroy. And then Art of War, which I think you get with him basically when he came out. Nothing else really there. Got 300 kills even with him. Almost 10 wins. 150,000 damage. Not bad. Uh, go over here to Horizon. I do not play Horizon. I played her for a tiny bit when she came out, but I just did not like her kit that much. And I honestly if there's anybody in this game who i just want to shut up 100 percent of the time it's horizon i do not want to listen to her talk i like the accent but her voice clips are so long and pedantic and annoying also i think she outside of dark matter and uh cosmic hitchhiker her skins are doo-doo i mean look at this that's disgusting that's really there's a lot of talent that went into making that and aesthetically it's just it just i don't like it it's ugly that's gross that's dumb looking. That's even dumber looking. I don't. I don't like her skins. Um, it's okay, just because that black is so black and the gold is so gold. This one's kind of all right. And I have 98 kills with Horizon. Now we're getting down to the territory of a lot of these characters that I just do not play. Uh, Rampart over here. We got Crafty Kitsune, uh, Wastelander, uh, Cryokinetic, Lime, Lime Malachite Green, Heritage Pride Premium Finish, Feeling Koi. Oh, that's all right. Uh, Firestarter and Cascade. I have 300 and kill 300 kills with Rampart. That's my favorite banner pose of all time <laughs> with the finger guns behind the shield. Hilarious. I do like playing Rampart a lot, but I don't, I don't really find myself playing her as much, even though I really should. Loba. Um, again, I don't like most of Loba's skins. And sorry, sorry to betray the dudes out there. I'm not into Loba. I don't find her attractive. I don't like the big bodacious busty bitch attitude with the fat ass and the fucking giant pour the pour your tits in a d cup bra yeah not a fan of it um and she, again, i don't like her attitude but uh, 100 kills five wins seventy three thousand damage uh revenant i did play a shitload of revenant when he came out i have the forge knight which is one of my favorite skins of the game predatory instinct the afterlife bird of prey unholy beast uh blood of ritual um, the Skinwalker, which I apologize if I just said that near an open window at night for what I've done to you. 500 kills with him, 200,000 damage. Yeah, I played him a lot when he came out, but not so much lately. Valk, I wish I was better with Valk. I'm just simply not. Aerial Evolution, Golden Opportunity, and uh, on top of um, Horizon having the most annoying voice lines, Valkyrie, I also just wish would shut up. I swear I'm not a sexist, misogynist person. I just find that attitude of the characters so obnoxious. 87 Valk kills. Um, Seer. I played a lot of Seer when he came out because he was so OP. When he got nerfed, I just didn't play him as much because I just, I don't know, found comfort in somebody else at the time. Uh, I didn't stop playing him because like, he was bad after the nerf or whatever. I just... And only 160 kills. I did the 160 kills, like, immediately when he came out. I was doing so well with him because of his OP-ness. But I think after I got bored and switched to... Uh, I think I started switching back to Lifeline or something. Or Caustic because I was trying to reach a certain kill count or whatever. Ash played her a little bit when she came out. Not so much anymore. Um, I, I still enjoy playing her, but only got 97 kills. I just don't find as much utility with her as some other people do. I love playing Mad Maggie. One, because she's kind of an underdog legend. People don't anticipate a Maggie, so they don't really strategize against a Maggie. And then, you know, being able to uh, smash people with my drill and whatnot is just uh, it's so satisfying. Getting that, getting the damage numbers, dropping a building at the beginning, setting an entire building on fire with four people in there, punching each other. You're just cracking shields off. Oh, dude, it's so good. 300 kills, 13 wins. And Newcastle. I have barely touched Newcastle. He's just... Not my guy. I have four kills. I do like that banner of him holding Octane, though. Um, yeah, four kills. I just haven't given Newcastle a try. But I am really looking forward to Vantage. I think I'm going to become a Vantage. Like, not main, but a current Vantage main. Now let's get into the loadout. Let's look at my guns. All the ones that I have in here. First Blood, Polarizer, Reptilian Fury, Silver Storm. I regret so much not getting the gold version of this. And was I think it was Season 1. Um, and I, did, I was, like... 
the battle pass was so much harder when it first came out there was not nearly enough challenges and there was not nearly enough um variety or um i don't know there just wasn't as much utility in the battle pass so i i was like three levels short by the time the battle pass cycled i got a lot of flatline skins but i basically just run slayers lancer and chosen chooser of the slain most of the time i just run this one because it's so fucking cool but I do have a bunch of different alternative skin colors. I really want this one, but I'm not spending the money for it. I want it because it looks so smooth and so clean. And it looks like the iron signs would be really nice. Um, a couple. I'm not really going to look at the blue skins. They're not as cool. Hemlock. Got a lot of really cool Hemlock skins, but I don't use it as much anymore. I basically Hemlock's one of the guns where I have to run it a certain way, and that's either a... Uh, um, red dot or a 3x and I just won't run it otherwise it's one of those guns that only feels right when I use it with the exact right optic I can not aim the hemlocks iron sights r301 I got skins for days I don't typically buy any of the r3 skins but uh, I end up with a lot of these ones in which case I just buy the alternative color skins for them as you can see Got a whole bunch in here. I wonder how the gifting system is going to work. I can't wait for that. That's going to be really interesting. Uh, submachine gun, we got the alternator, power coil, LED res, the galvanizer, which was my first alternator um, gold. Treadrunner, Molten Forge, uh, Prowler. Got a lot of skins for the Prowler. I, I've not enjoyed using the Prowler since they took away the full auto. I just don't do well with it with its burst. And it, I don't know. I just... I can't. I can't use the Prowler anymore if it's not full auto. It just doesn't feel right. Uh, R9, Magnum Opus. Fucking love this skin. I just like purple. This skin's really cool, too. I, I just... I don't know. I don't use it as much. Rule of Law, the Alchemist over here. We got uh, Waves of Change. I like these ones. I like the um, <clears throat> the R9's little, little purple skins. Volt, Autumn's Dawn, Fatal Injection, Symbiotic Relationship, Dream Weaver, and Accepted Theory. I don't know why I have that one favorited. Beats me, but I guess, sure. We got the car, we got Wormborn, Pastel Perfection, and Rich Mahogany, and then Skull Crusher. Uh, Light Machine Gun, we got the Devotion, Dragon Spine, Nocturnal Elegance. I say it every time, this is my favorite gun skin in the game, probably, or one of. Fast Track, Bound and Bone, Nitro Custom, Lead Farmer. A lot, of, a lot of cool skins in here. Gold Rush, uh, Burning Rubber, L-Star. I have almost no skins for the L-Star because I really don't use it and I don't like it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, wait, I think I have... I thought I had one gold for it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Beyond the Wheel. Okay, this is the only gold I have for it. Uh, Spitfire, a lot of skins here. We got Molten Soul, uh, Winter's Soul. Way of the Serpent. I don't like a. I like the style of a lot of the Spitfire skins. I just don't like aiming with them. I don't like the sights. I don't like how much shit is often in the way of your ADS with the Spitfire. So a lot of times I'll use one based mostly on the optics. Even though they don't really change that much. But sometimes they just have a whole lot of crap that's just like wrapping around it or whatever. Rampage. This gun should have never been put in the game. And I will still. I will stand by that till the day I die. I fucking hate this gun. I really, really, really hate it, and I am so happy that it's going into the uh, the the care package. So happy for that. G7 can't wait to be using this again since it's now ground loot. Got a lot of different colors for the uh, gold dragon, crimson fire drake, gold justice. I like a lot of the G7's base skins down here, like the purples and blues. I just like the little animation, like the little LED LCD screen or whatever on the side of the gun. It's cool. Uh, triple take, some of the coolest skins in the game for sure. Look at this shit, dude. This stuff is so cool. Tamed Beast, you don't get it. Doesn't get, that looks like a gun from Destiny, dude. It's so it's so good. Uh, Under the Sun, a lot of the base ones here. First Strike, um, some blues. 30-30, don't like a lot of the 30-30 skins because they all feel relatively the same. The Sleek Unique is clean. And I also really cannot stand the 30-30s Iron Sights. But that is just me. We got the bow check. I'm really, really enjoying the bow check. And I, I like some of these skins we've gone for. Because all the other ones seemed really basic. Like, I mean, that just looks like a bow. You know, but we got some pretty unique ones. Go down here to the sniper rifles. We got the charge. I kind of wish the charge rifle was in the care package as well. I'm getting really tired of, you know, PC lobbies where everyone can just point and click with a charge rifle and just melt me from across the map. If two people have a charge rifle, I'm dead instantly. It's insane. Longbow. I miss when this gun was great. Now it's 
I don't know, I don't like the uh, bullet drop on it. God, that's such a cool gun. Too bad there's too much crap on the screen when you aim. Uh, the iron sights are so cluttered. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, and when I'm complaining about this stuff, I am a console peasant. I don't care. I got being on, being on console and dealing with a lot of uh, PC players makes you puts it into perspective because PC and console players set, play so differently and certain guns just get so much uh, utility. Now the Sentinel, I've been enjoying the shit out of. I am so I'm not like amazing with it, but I am really really good and pretty consistent when it comes to just iron sighting the Sentinel or putting a three X on the Sentinel. I open up fights with the Sentinel all the time, and I'm fucking blowing people's heads off with the iron sights. And, and dude, I have so much fun with that gun. Eva, I can't wait for this gun to be decent again because it, it really fell off this season. It just wasn't fun to use. If I saw the Eva, I grabbed the Mozambique instead. Did not like the Eva at all. Mastiff, finally, I've, I've been running the Tombstick for a while, but I finally got a new skin for it. I think it's, it's up here. Yeah, the Underwater Love, I grabbed that one immediately from whichever store thing it was in. Uh, the collection event, I think, for Bangalore. I'm like, yeah, give me that. That 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 looks sick. Um, sorry, uh, Mozambique. Most of these skins look the same. I wish we had some unique Mozambique skins. Unique Mozambique, but they're all pretty, pretty basic, honestly. And then the PK. Um, Northern Lights, Red Dawn. I know people don't like to use this skin because of that big block in the iron sight right there, but for me, honestly, that helps me get that helps me box my target in the center. I don't know what it is. I aim better with that big blocky sight in the PK. Pistols, and then we're almost done. I grab this one because it looks the most like an airsoft gun, and even though I RA45 is probably my least favorite gun in the game, um, unless I run it very specifically with like a 2X, a blue stabilizer, and a blue mag, then I might run it. Otherwise, I just won't. I cannot stand the RA45. Uh, but yeah, it looks most like an airsoft gun, so... <clears throat> a lot of wingmans have been running this one, which is just really nice and sexy. And we got the Dismantler, the Sunburst, Final Form, Attention to Detail, uh, Precision Caliber, uh, the Death Ray, Dragon's Wing, and that's that. And I think that's everything. Obviously, we have our all this crap in here i did get my season 12 diamond finally which looks like absolute shit it doesn't look cool at all last season was a bunch of lightning bolts and shit and then we have charms just so you see the number 238 out of 256 i'm not going through them because i don't support charms i'm wearing a couple just because i have them but i do not support charms um now real quick before we move on let's finish this off with details over here this is lifetime damage dealt 4 million highest 4044 Average f just about 500 damage a game. Highest kills 13, which is inaccurate because in season zero, I got 18 kills with Gibby, but it didn't it was it didn't track back then. So uh, knockdowns 13k, assists 3,800. Teammates respawn 420. Uh, teammates revive 25. Uh, lifetime kills 10,000, 8,000 deaths 1.22 KD. Um, I guess we'll look at arenas real quick, even though I don't play arenas much anymore. But uh, I I barely even play it for challenges. When it comes to like the battle pass. So here's my season 13. So we're going to compare real quick. Since I'm probably not playing another game. Let's go to season 12 defiance. That was my season 12 right there. And then let's. I got 32 wins in 12. And then let's go to season 13. 41 total wins. Not bad. 500 kills. And I want to look at ranked for season 13. 25 wins in ranked. That's not bad. Considering we don't grind that hardcore. But yeah, so that's pretty much going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.